Today, we're going to talk about comping vocals and the process that I take within FL Studio to comp vocals, something that FL Studio heavily lacks, in my opinion, having recorded vocals in Pro Tools, Logic, and FL Studio, is the ability to comp vocals and manage them quickly and swiftly. So in this video, you will learn an efficient process for comping vocals and dealing with multiple takes. So let's get started. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. All right. So first thing we're going to want to do is open our project with a bunch of vocal takes. And if they are not all muted already, you can come to the bottom, hold control, select the ones you want to mute, and then you can click Alt M to mute them. If they are not all already muted, Shift Alt M is a hot key to unmute. So just to show you, Alt M, now our tracks are muted. Now, as we're working, in order to create a crossfade, you'll want to double click the track in question. You want to come in here and you want to do crossfade bleeding. If someone is chopping or speaking quickly, you may choose smooth bleeding instead if you're cutting between words and generic bleeding will be even quicker. Now, I wait to do this until I actually need to do it to the track simply because there is a lot of stinking tracks here and we most likely will not use all of these for this one verse. So why spend the extra time going through and setting all of these up, especially because we don't know if we want full on crossfade or smooth bleeding. Now, our favorite shortcuts through this process is going to be T for mute and C for cut. And so make sure that your typing keyboard to piano roll is off or you will not be able to use these. So I can click T and I can unmute and audition these until I find the one that I want. It's also very helpful to have a snap to grid going and you can do something like a quarter beat to help cut through different words at different times. We're also going to want all the vocals we want to use in question viewable. Things like ad libs, for example. I have these ad lib tracks. Just kind of get them out of my face. I'll go ahead and highlight them and then collapse them because I don't need them right now. And so let's find our first vocal. Only one life that you live with days in. Gotta move it. Only one life that you. Only one life that. Only one life that you live with days in. Gotta move it or lose it, lose it to go and take it. So maybe that one. Only one life that you live with days in. Gotta move it to lose it. Only one life that you. Only one life that you live with days in. Gotta. Only one life that you live with days in. Gotta move it to lose it, lose it to go and take it. They whisper about you may have to huddle to hear them say it. Get down if you fumble your knuckles scraping the pavement. <laughs> Hotter than pop bacon. I really like 37. Only one life that you live with days in. Gotta move it to lose it, lose it to go and take it. Only one life that you leave it days in. Got to move it to lose it, lose it to go and take it. They whisper by. So, I think I hear my first and my next cut for this vocal. And so, this is where our next hotkey comes into play. We can click C. We can hold the shift button, run it like this, and we can cut all those tracks. And I really liked after the only one life, the inflections on this other track here. So, I'll hold shift and I'll make another cut. In that location, I'll click T, turn that one on, turn this one off. And so now, only one life that you leave with Daisy. And what I can do is now I'll go double click these. We'll see what a crossfade sounds like. Only one life that you leave with Daisy. Got only one life that you leave with Daisy. And I kind of like how me saying that gets doubled up, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'll do smooth bleeding on this one. Only one life that you leave with Daisy and smooth bleeding on this one. Only one life that you leave with Daisy. Yeah, that's better. And now we just go for the next. Only one life that you leave with Daisy. Got to move it to lose it, lose it to go and take it. They so got to move it to lose it, lose it or go and take it. Right there. I am assuming that I'll have a better take somewhere. I might not, but we're just going to make the cut so we can switch between auditions. Now, if you'll notice, as I'm going to cut this, my word starts between this cut and the time prior to this cut. So what I can do is I can hold Alt and that'll take me off the grid. So I'm holding Shift and I did Alt. And now I can just kind of come somewhere in here where there's not really going to be anything and make my cut. So I'll come over here, shut this one off, and let's see what we like the most. 
So I think we'll stick with this one. Only one life that you leave the days in. Got to move it, to lose it, lose it, to go and take it. They whisper about you, may. So they whisper. I definitely didn't sound that great. And I forgot I had a whole bunch down here at the bottom. So let's audition these two. And now instead of making you wait for me to finish this process, I'll just run through this process real quick, and then you can come back and join me, and I will show you how we turn this into one solid track without having to go through and delete all this other stuff and just take all this extra time that honestly is not necessary at all. So I'm done choosing the takes I like. Now that I have done that, the way to easily comp them together includes having them all on the same effects track. If you're coming from my recording template video, this will already be the case. And if you're recording via a playlist track like this, then again, that will already be the case. If that's not the case, then you can go to all your tracks. See all mine are running to 32, at least for the most part, a couple of them are different. You can highlight all the ones that you want, and then you would go to your mixer, to the mixer track that you want, and then you go channel routing, route selected channels to this track. So I will check all my recordings are going to 32. Now there's two things you should do before merging all these tracks together. Select where that vocal is taking place, just in case you have anything else routed to that same track anywhere else that you have not yet comped. If we'll see here, this ending here is actually encroaching into the beginning of this hook a little bit. Thankfully, nothing's being said in that space, but if it was, I could just mute it. And then actually prior to that, the second thing, which I guess should have been the first thing, is when you go through here and listen with these crossfades, make sure you are not crossfading anything in behind your words. So if I'm in the track and I'm saying, only one life that you live your days in, something, 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 something. If I have only one life that you live your days in, and I fade that in, it's going to say only one life that you live your days in, and then it's going to crossfade a breath underneath my next vocal. And that is not going to be okay when everything is said and done. We've done our compression effects because you'll really hear that. So take your time in this stage to make sure you aren't crossfading and bleeding anything that you don't want existing in these tracks. And then you can always keep the tracks in your channel rack and just delete them from your playlist so you can go back and grab one if you really do need it and find yourself in that situation. So going through and deleting these, you could do that. That would take a second. And then you'd have to move all these to one recording track, which is kind of extra. When instead, we can just come to the mixer track they ran to, hit our arm button here, and then we can click Alt-R. Now, Alt-R is going to record the track output. If you see our recording arm button here is at the end of this and our signal flow comes through and about right here is all of these effects. And then here's our track output coming out the bottom. This is after everything. So changing here is not going to change it. You're going to get all of your effects added on and get the track output with these turned and the fader changed. You can, however, if you want to output it with no effects, turn your effects off by clicking this button here. To show that this will still come through just fine, I'll completely turn that down. Now that we have this, Alt-R, song selection, that's why we chose it. And I'd suggest doing a high bit depth. And honestly, for your quality for resampling, you don't need that high. You can do 32 or 64 if you want to be extra. This actually has to do with when you're pitching samples and they're being resampled in that way to deal with aliasing, which is a whole nother subject. And now that we've done that, we can come down here and it is way below, but we do have our dry vocal because I shut these effects off. So now if I'm really done, I can just take all of these, unarm this track, I'll reset this, and then yeah, I can just move this baby up. And then I can move all these up as well, or I can just comp them where they're at. If you're working in my template, as you probably know, as soon as you drop this to a specific track, it's going to auto route itself to that track or the mixer track that's associated with this playlist track. And then we're good to go. So I think that's about it. I really hope this video was helpful. 
If you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate it. Subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio. Adios. Adios.